Hi everyone, Christina here. I am here because I came home today and from my driveway I could see in my mailbox something that looked exciting. It looked like a package. And so I went there and I had not one but two, well really kind of three very exciting things. Netflix! Who doesn't love Netflix? And my birch box. Um, this was especially exciting because I received my emails just yesterday from Birchbox with my tracking information. And typically when tracking information is sent out from a company, I find that when I click on the link, what that actually means is a shipping label has been created. I'm sure you've all been there. And the, the product doesn't actually even go out until the next day. So I hadn't even checked it. Um, it was just yesterday. And so to come home and find my birch box in the mailbox was really exciting. And um, I worked really late tonight, so it's awesome to come home and find like a nice surprise. I also love that my birch box fits exactly perfectly in my mailbox. There's just something adorable about it. I have one of those mailboxes that goes like on the side of your house, and this like goes and sits inside of it like exactly perfectly. So, birch box unboxing. This was going to be the first time that I ever unboxed without looking at the products first and opening it because I had no patience. And I did do that and at the end I discovered that my video didn't record for some reason. My computer was just trying to spite me. So I have actually seen the products now. Bummer. I mean not a bummer because I like them. but. What are you going to do? So I'm still going to go through it again because it's fun and it's fun to do these videos evidently. I don't know, it's like my second or third one. Um, birch box, yay! So all I've done, I did cut it open because um, I didn't have my scissors nearby and I cut it with a knife. It sounds a little violent, um, but I didn't want to do that like on this video when you guys would be like, ax murder, or not really ax, but like stagger, I don't know. So birch box. Hello, January 2014 Birchbox. Nice to see you. So, we're going to open this little lady up. Boop. And right on top, as usual, is the Birchbox monthly card. January 2014 is go time. And if you have watched any of the sneak peek videos or been following Birchbox um, this month so far, um, you'll know that their theme um, about resolutions this year, as they put it, is to flip it on its head. And so instead of um, focusing on stopping doing things, reducing things, getting rid of bad habits and stuff, the focus is on um, taking on more and doing more things in your life that you enjoy, trying new things, getting outside, conquering things. So um, I think that's a really nice approach to the new year. I think that's kind of a sweet um, attitude to have toward it. So um, that is the Birchbox monthly card, and I do remember, and I'm actually really excited to see that they're including um, some postcard size um, cards um, that looked really cute in the sneak peek video. Um, I don't know if they're postcards actually or not, um, but they, well, I do now. I didn't before, um, but um, I was really excited to get them. So it says, we've also created some pinnable card, very pinnable cards, with suggestions to keep you motivated and happy this month and beyond. We hope that you like them as much as we do, which is a lot. So this month's theme, you got it right there. Um, also on here, there's a little sticker about the um, Sundays thing that Birchbox is doing this month, which is um, Subscriber Sundays. If you go, well, the web address they give is birchbox.com slash Sundays. I didn't have any luck when I actually went to that website this weekend, but I did manage to do it going through Birchbox's Facebook page. And the idea is that you can enter every week. They have different prizes every week, so that's something exciting. And the grand prize is um, a $1,000 shopping spree in the Birchbox shop. They Depending on when you see them say it, they'll say 10,000 Birchbox points. Here, I was surprised that I actually wrote $1,000 shopping spree. Because um, everywhere else, it's been 10,000 Birchbox points. Very specific. So, um, I say, you know, give it a go. You never know. You might win something that you enjoy um, if you don't want the points. Um, they also gave a code. So, like, this past week when I or weekend when I entered to see if I could win, I did not win do that. Um, but I did get a code. It was Sundays 35. And through this coming weekend, that gives me um, the opportunity to get 35 extra Birchbox points um, when I place an order on a full-size product in the Birchbox shop. So given that it expires before this Sunday, I'm actually curious as to whether um, it will be a difference 
coupon code each week that maybe it'll be something different um, next week. So I'm tempted to use it, I'm tempted to wait, I don't really know. So let's open this pretty birch box and see what's in here. So looks cute as always, has the pillow pack. I love the birch box pillow packs. Oh my God, it's all falling out. Um, so it always makes me happy to see. So I do know um, what to expect in my birch box. I'm not going to lie. Not just because I just saw it, but sorry, I had a little scratch, itchy nose. Can't help it. It happens. But because I like to use this little trick on the Birchbox app, if you have it, it's only available for iPhone now, so that's kind of a bummer for Android users and other people. Um, although you could ask a friend to borrow their phone and sign on on it. I know because I got my aunt a subscription to Birchbox for Christmas, and I logged into her Birchbox because she does not have an iPhone, and went through to check her products. So the way it works is if you click on the Discover tab and scroll through, um, it shows different articles, like from the Birchbox blog, and different items, and some of them it'll say bestseller, recommended for you, and box history. So if you go through and the items that are listed as box history, when you come to one that says box history, but you haven't received it yet, that's going to be in your current month's box. This is the second or third month that I've done that and um, been spot on for what's in my box. So you actually, if you want, can find out earlier than when they do their um, you know, box reveal on the 10th if you're impatient or really excited. Um, so that's a little way to get around that little detective work. Um, and Birchbox doesn't mind or they would fix it. And also when I posted on um, Instagram the last two months, they've liked my post. So I don't feel guilty if Birchbox knows I'm doing it. Um, I, don't, I don't feel guilty anyway. It was exciting. I felt like Sherlock Holmes. So here are the things in my box. First of all, I have the Chlorine dry shampoo. I am really excited about this product. When I found out I was getting it, I, I was crazy excited. I'm not going to lie for dry shampoo. I mean, is this my life? Um, yes, it is. So yeah, my cat, that's my cat bracket. Um, I got home from work only within like the past hour. Nope, less than that half hour maybe. So she thinks it's like kitty putting time um, instead of birch box video time. So don't mind her. I treat her very nicely. She's a spoiled pampered cat. She'll be okay. Back to the shampoo. I love dry, I love dry shampoo. I only discovered it maybe a year ago. I had always been kind of like dry shampoo. Are you kidding me? That A sounds gross and weird and B is it really going to do anything for my hair? I don't really trust that because everyone's always like sprinkle baby powder and I'm like that doesn't sound helpful at all and it sounds really messy. So dry shampoo is the solution for that because it's contained and you can direct it properly and it probably just works better. I don't know. So I have been wanting to try the chlorine brand. It's listed as one of the top 10 dry shampoos in the Birchbox shop. Um, I believe it's a pretty popular product. I Actually on the card I think it says award-winning editor fave that absorbs grease and revives second day hair. So that's one of the things I really like about dry shampoo. I have very thin hair. I like to wash it every day. Um, I know some people are like, that's bad for you. No, my hair looks better if I wash it every day. But I can get away with a second day um, unwashed. If I do, I tend to wear it like this because I feel self-conscious. I feel like it looks oily, even though other people say it doesn't. I just don't feel great about it. However, with dry shampoo, I've discovered that I can feel okay going a second day without washing my hair. If I don't um, wash it, what I'll typically do is I'll put dry, I'll spray dry shampoo um, with a focus on the roots and then also down through the rest of my hair. My hair's about yay long. And... Um, let it sit while I do something else, brush my teeth, put my makeup on, something, and then I'll brush it through and I might like touch it up with a straightener. My hair's straight anyway, but I might kind of smooth it out. Um, and it does look nice. I've actually gotten compliments. So I am always excited to try a new brand of dry shampoo. Um, and especially this because I don't really want to spend like $20 on a dry shampoo that I haven't gotten to try. I'm just too cheap. Sorry guys. Um, but there are a lot of them in the Birchbox shop that I really want to try. Like if Birchbox sent me a dry shampoo every month, I'd totally be down with that. Hey Birchbox, if you're listening, dry shampoo for this lady. So very excited. I have, the other ones I've tried so far are Not Your Mother's, which you can just buy at CVS, and um, Psst from Freeman Beauty, which 
I'm not sure where to buy it. Honestly, I bought um, I bought it online when I did an order from Freeman Beauty. And the other one I've tried is Batiste, which you can buy at Ulta. And I've liked all three of them, so I don't think I really have a favorite yet. So I'll be excited to try the Chlorine and see if it works any better or differently than the others. So that's very exciting for me. The next product um, that I have is interesting. So it's Burt's Bees Clary Sage, oh, excuse me, Intense Hydration Day Lotion with Clary Sage. So I really like Burt's Bees. I'll say that right off the bat. Um, Burt's Bees started in the early 80s as like a candle company and the lady who worked with Burt to take his beeswax and do stuff, tried all different things before she settled on doing natural um, bath and body products. And so it's kind of a cool story. And um, I actually worked at a local gift shop in my hometown in the late 90s to early 2000s. Um, and it was when Burt's Bees was just really kind of just start, starting to grow. We were actually the only shop in my whole town that sold um, Burt's Bees, which might be funny to think about now that you can just like pick it up at CVS like it's you know, suave or something. Um, so I was actually kind of like the designated Burt's Bees specialty salesperson. So I actually um, was trained a bit and um, learned a lot of the Burt's Bees company history and a lot about their products. So I really like Burt's Bees products. I am a little disappointed because from my Birch box, I have come to expect and enjoy um, more high-end products. And um, this is not because you can just get it at your CVS. They did list, I noticed as I went in here, they marked it as a find. Um, still a little disappointing because that means I only got four products in my Birch box plus a find, and I've come to expect five products. I think I have always, if I'm not mistaken, received five products in my Birch box. Um, so I don't know if that is standard or if that's just customary. So it makes me feel like eh, a little bummed, but I still love Birch box. It's still a fantastic value. I'm not going to complain too much. So this is really nice um, that it is in a little glass pot. I really like that. I'll probably use it when I'm done with the lotion. Um, maybe like cover the lid and decorate it. Um, one great thing about Burt's Bees is that it is a largely natural product. This particular one is 99.0% natural. So one of the really cool things and um, that you may not know, well, first of all, separate, but it's also cool. You can eat any Burt's Bees product because they're so natural. Um, there's nothing in it that's going to like kill you, at least as of like 2003. So maybe something's changed. I don't know. But as of then, you can eat like all the products. They don't taste good. My coworkers and I tried them, not going to lie. Um, they're not very tasty, but they're safe um, because there was a situation I learned when I was being trained. That, by being trained, I mean watching a VHS cassette. Um, a family had a child and he ate a whole bottle of lotion and they were like totally freaked out of course and called um, poison control and when they read the ingredients off the person on the hotline said no worries your kid's gonna be totally fine none of those ingredients are harmful um, and so what the birch bees people explained is that their products are all like non-toxic so that's really nice um, I like that because whatever you put on the outside of your body does affect the inside of your body. If you tape a garlic clove to your wrist, give it a while, you're gonna have garlic breath. Try it, not around your friends, but I'm telling you. So that's really cool. And um, this is 99% natural. Interesting fact, this was the interesting fact, not the edible part, um, is almost always, if you see a Burt's Bees product that is almost completely natural, but maybe like 99, 99 point something, if you check the ingredients, you're going to see tocopherol acetate. What that is, is a man-made version of vitamin E, because the body does not naturally, I'm sorry, the body does not absorb natural vitamin E in its pure um, and natural form very well. So what they do, and a lot of companies, you'll, if you look at ingredients, you're going to start noticing tocopherol acetate on a lot of things. And um, by putting artificial, man-made, it's still natural, but man-made form of vitamin E in their products, it combines sort of with the non-man-made, the natural version of vitamin E, and your body actually absorbs more of the natural vitamin E as well. And so that is most often the only artificial 
again, I, yeah, artificial, I guess, technically, um, product inverts these items. Um, if it's more than 99%, when you start getting like 98, 97, etc., odds are there might be something else in there. But typically, if you see one that's um, very close to 100% natural, if you check the ingredients, that's going to be the thing that's there. So as far as, you know, if you're putting something on your body that's not natural, tocopyrrole acetate, pretty good way to go. Not bad for you, not really a chemical and stuff. So, um, so I'm still happy with my little Burt's Bees. Um, also, I will say, though, the one thing that makes me a little bummed, too, I feel like I'm getting a little bit, um, like, a leftover. Even, I'm going to say, the pr the lid here, it's, like, dented and stuff, and honestly, it looks a little dirty. Um, yeah, it is a little dirty. Um, so, Birch Box back in May or July or sometime this past year did um, two specialty bags. It was CEW um, something entertainment, blah, 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 I don't know, something. Um, specialty bags, one that was like high-end products and one that was mass market products. And um, this was one of the products in the mass market bag. And so my suspicion is that these are leftovers and so that they added them in to some people's boxes as a birch box find. I don't think everyone um, was getting these this month either. I'll be interested to see on blogs and stuff um, how many people reported getting them. But my understanding um, from what I've seen is that not everyone got them. And um, a lot of the boxes do have five products without the find, which is another reason I'm kind of like, oh, come on, birch box. I feel a little cheated. But it's okay. So still love it. So next here we've got something that's new. Um, it is Nail Rock. This is a new item in the Birchbox shop um, that they've just begun carrying. This company is from England and they have a whole line of different products um, including Eye Rock, Lip Rock, Nail Rock, and I think there's one other one but I can't remember. So when I saw that this was going to be in my Birchbox, I was really excited and well no I didn't know what it was then I googled nail rock then I was really excited so um, what nail rock has is four different textures well they do nail wraps like the little sticker things you put on your nails they have those in some really cool patterns and then they also do this little guy in different textures including like the caviar type the little beads um, sequins um velvet and maybe glitter i'm not positive about what all four are but an assortment of textures so i received nail velvet so um this is um it's black color so that's kind of interesting kind of dark and mysterious um and actually i feel like as a velvet texture will be really cool so you can see here um, it's got little instructions, it's very basic, just like any of these um, kind of textured manicures are. Put on two coats of polish, sprinkle the stuff on, wait for it to dry 15-20 minutes, shake off the excess, voila! So, I've got my bottle of Nail Rock, you can kind of see there, and my velvet. Um, I opened this up earlier, I'm not going to open it, well, maybe I'll open it, um, to look at it and kind of see the texture. You can see it actually looks a lot like a mineral eyeshadow or something, but when I touched it, it is definitely different. Um, it actually didn't blend into like my hand or anything. I put some on and then afterwards it just like brushed off. So it is a different texture. Um, so I think we'll create a different effect. So I'm really excited to try this. It seems like a really cool product and um, you know, if it's something I really like, it's good to know that um, from what I can tell, it's going to be in the Birchbox shop. So yay! So now, oh, we get to the pillow pack. Woo, I'm dropping things. But before that, um, we've got our birch box cards for this month. Super cute. Um, there's a whole little. They're not postcards. They have stuff on the back. That's cool. I think they're gorgeous. So we've got Hello 14. I'm sorry, Hello 2014. Note to self: Be awesome. <laughs> got it. In fact, the shirt I'm wearing right now says, "Let's make today awesome." Super easy. Um, happy, 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 happy. Go get them, tigers. I kind of love that one. That's pretty awesome. That might um, be integrated into just my vocabulary in general. And this one says, see, we, yes. So it's about, all, about saying yes. Although, um, so it's Spanish, French, and English. They left off the acento in C. So this actually says if. 
Yes, yes. Sorry, Birchbags, but I speak Spanish, and i got to call you out a little on your grammar there. Someone should have caught that. But I think these are super pretty and super cute. Um, I Even if they're not postcards, I like the idea of being able to like um, put them on my bulletin board at work or tuck one in my bathroom mirror to see in the morning, um, things like that. And on the back, it's things like it says, um, it's going to be a good year. Confidence is as confidence does. Five ways to get happier. New things are good things. <laughs> That's my motto. That's why I shop so much. Um, and the agreement rule. So I think these are really awesome. I'm excited to put them around. Love the colors. Love the size. Beautiful. If I want to make them postcards, I can always glue um, plain paper on the back and mail them. Oh, win -win. So, and here a little reminder to Birchbox. Are you missing the points? Um, they're like, spend some money so that you can earn points. <laughs> See, it's like business. You gotta spend money to make money. Um, you're not so really. You're not shopping. You're investing. Birchbox, I like your attitude. So, thanks for that little reminder. Oh, and also with my Burt's Bees find, I saw in the back, there's a three dollar coupon. So that's nice. I like that when they send a find, they send a coupon so that you can try it. Um, because they are things that are mass market out in the stores. It's um, a coupon for any Burt's Bees intense hydration face care product at participating retail stores, which almost all stores that sell Bird's Bees are participating. It's like, I participate in McDonald's or whatever, and I've never been to a restaurant that has an accident with a coupon. Anyway, um, so I might have to take a look and see, because it is specifically intense hydration face care. It's very specific, um, but to see if there's anything that I like there. Also, sorry, this video is turning out longer than I expected. Uh, you don't have to keep watching it. I'd love it if you do, but I understand if you need to fast forward a little or come back or just stop. Pillow pack, super exciting. I noticed it says January 2014 on one end and hashtag Birchbox on the other. I could be crazy for lots of different reasons, but I don't think, I, I've never noticed that on the pillow packs before. So that's like a cute little touch. I like that. Um, I just think these are adorable. I want to like put everything in them and like, I don't know, just use them over and over somehow because I just think they're so cute. Um, so the two things I have in here is Juicy Couture, Couture La La perfume, you can see. Um, I like getting perfume. I know some people don't, but I have marked on my profile that it's fine to send it to me. I like trying out different things. I also like the little amounts. It's fun. You can wear something new for a week or two and then move on to something else. Um, I do find it interesting, two months ago from Birchbox, I also got a Juicy Couture perfume sample. Um, and it's the first time I've ever had a repeat brand in my Birchbox. I know that they're really good about not repeating products, um, but I was a little bit um, surprised to find that they were repeating a brand too, especially in like the same type of product. Like it's perfume and perfume, not like I got a dry shampoo of something and then got a hairspray in the same brand. Um, so. That's interesting, but I like perfume, like I said, so I'm okay with that. And the description sounds great. It says, um, bright sparkling mandarin with bold white florals. Um, I love, I love um, citrusy anything, so I like perfumes that have kind of a hint of um, a citrus in them. And on the card, it actually says, um, tart notes of green apple and red currant at a feminine, at an edge to feminine lily and orange blossom. So it sounds like it's probably going to smell really great. I would put it on right now, but I already have perfume, and um, it would probably be weird to combine it. And then the last thing I have is Coastal Scents Revealed Palette Sampler. Um, I'm pretty excited about this because I have seen Coastal Scents around a lot, and I've never tried it. So, um, when Birchbox carries something, I have to say, I respect Birchbox's um, product choices for their shop, and I generally consider if they've decided to carry something, that it's most likely a high-quality brand. Um, I feel like they consider their choices nicely, and they're not just throwing anything like willy-nilly into the shop. Um, so I am really excited because I know Coastal Scents is in their shop to try it. So this is an eyeshadow palette. The Revealed is a new palette from Coastal Scents that's just come out. So this and it is an exclusive collection highlighting four of the alluring colors from the new Revealed eyeshadow palette. And again, it says on the card here, um, 
Oh, versatile, nude, and metallic shadows. So that is exactly what is here. I'll open it. I don't know how well you can see the colors, unfortunately. But um, what it is, is there's a shimmering, kind of a shimmery taupe color, um, a matte chocolate brown, a shimmering kind of um, purple, it's almost... It's not quite like my shirt, but kind of a purple berry color, and then a matte black. So you can see that again if you can tell a little bit. Um, that shows. That's the taupe, shimmering taupe, um, matte chocolate, shimmering purple, kind of berry. It's a really deep purple color, and the matte black right here. And I like that they sent um, four colors in a little palette as opposed to um, a larger size of just one color from the palette um, because it gives you a better sense of what all is included and whether you might end up wanting to purchase the palette um, by seeing, you know, kind of how you can combine the shades, um, mix and match them. Um, I think it mentions on the card this, you know, is a good kind of day to night transition if you want. You can use the more neutral colors um, for um, kind of a day look and if you want to make it a little dr more dramatic, you can add some of the darker colors on. Um, when you head out for night, or if you just want to have a striking look during the day, I say, why wait till night? Go crazy. So, that is my birch box for the month. We've got Revealed Palette Sampler from Crystal Scents. Pop it back here in the little pillow pouch. Boop, boop. One there. Juicy Couture, Couture La La, which is still really fun to say, no matter how many times I say it. Couture La La. Got my Nail Rock Velvet set here. I'm really excited to try that. Um, I might come back and do a review after I've given it a go. Um, and I'm also doing this like, kind of like how Instagram has those like photo of the day and stuff like that. I'm doing a nail one this month um, from California Nails. And I'm a little bit behind like one set. Um, but it's like the doable challenge, like live your life still. And instead of every day, because that would be extreme, it's every three days. So I have missed one and I'm going to skip and maybe come back and do it. But um, it's every three. So like day three was fresh. So you can see my nails here. Um, I've got some different combinations. They are fresh like snow was my goal. So maybe the velvet nail rock will fit in with something this month. That could be really cool. There is one of one day is outfit of the day. So maybe I'll just wear black that day and do my nails and it'll match. Well, done. My Burt's Bees, hydrating, intense hydration, day lotion with clary sage which I um, forgot to mention, I did in my last video. It has a really nice scent. I like it. it. You know, cream blends right in. It's not a cream, it's a lotion. The difference is it has water added to it. Um, but the scent is really light. Um, I do, like I said, I like citrus and stuff like that. But also sometimes it's nice to have something that's really neutral so it doesn't interfere with any other scent you might be wearing. So I really like that. It's fresh but not strong. And then my chlorine dry shampoo that... I love, I love you, chlorine shampoo, dry right now. Um, I'll have to wait a couple days to use this because tomorrow I have to wash my hair. Kind of a bummer. I really want to use it. But um, this is probably what I'm most excited about, as you might have guessed, um, from this month's box. So I hope that you enjoyed my incessant ramblings about my birch box. Maybe you learned a thing or two. And I will see you again next month for my February Birchbox unboxing. Have a great one.